welcome to the first ever edition of the live online Dine Sports Fantasy Football Draft. Depending how well this goes, it could be the last annual edition as well, too. we got multiple people on the call tonight. We've got John Bouchard, Craig Anich, Devin Gallant, and Eric Long joining us for a 12-person half-point PPR snake draft on Sleeper. Gentlemen, how are we doing tonight? Football. So good. Football. Let's do so it. good, Kyle. We are back, <laughs> and we are back in a big way after months of thinking I was fired from the channel. I've come Should've to been. learn that you were just busy, too busy <laughs> to have any podcasts. So off the top here, I want to do a bit of housekeeping. Thank you to whomever you hired at Dine Sports Management to help take the load off of your plate. Whoever you are, wherever you are, thank you. We can now do podcasts. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Eric. And thank you very much. Just to shout out a few people, uh, I will refer to them as the two mats who have requested for me to be back on the podcast channel. Thank you so much for your support. And another special shout out to Jesus the, Christ. Biggest, <laughs> the biggest fan of the channel and top YouTube commenter on the Dine Sports Management YouTube channel, Caitlin Skinner. Caitlin, thank you so much for your unwavering support. And please oh, yeah, enjoy your meet. Up. Enjoy Can your you mute him. Can you fucking mute him here? This, this is literally the equivalent <laughs> of Ron Burgundy going up there, and I'm totally not prepared, and then pulls the flute out of his sleeve. Yeah, there. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Months off, and that's the best speech you could come up with. Yeah. Well, all right, boys. It's going to be a uh, long night unless we get into this here. We randomized the drafts. Devin is officially commissioner of this fantasy league here right now, which doesn't exist beyond tonight. But we're going to attempt to try and portray where we think people will be going, the rationale behind those decisions. And we will certainly be pausing the draft at multiple times to criticize Eric's wild left field choices. So Devin has already randomized the order. Picking first, we've got Craig. Then we've got a computer. Devin, a computer. John, several computers. Eric, and then I am picking at the turn at number 12. Eric was originally second overall through a fit and has already traded down in the draft to number 11. So here we are, folks. Questions we, we needed, before we, we get needed started? some perspective from both ends of the draft. Well, so I'm making sure that the parameters right. are out there for all of our listeners because God knows you're a stickler for having those out into the universe before. Oh, yes. Start. Well, listen, Kyle, if you're going to force all of us to be part of this block draft, I at least want to have some force that I make up. You just went on about how happy you were to be <laughs> back like seven seconds ago. I thought I was fired. <laughs> HR right, didn't gonna... fill out the paperwork. You were fired. Yeah. We're, we're going to have to have the Academy Awards uh, music play Eric off the stage to <laughs> wrap up his comments tonight there. All right, Craig, you are on the clock first. Devin, you ready to use that big red button of yours there to get this thing started? The button's actually blue, but yeah, sure, I'll do that. All right. We're going. All right. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and pick the easy one here and go with Jefferson. Howard. Whoa! 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 Oh, <laughs> Computers it's already going off rogue. the rails. <laughs> oh right, my God! Pause. We have to pause for the computer. <laughs> I, I I knew we would have to pause a few times tonight. Didn't think Travis Kelsey was going second overall in a oh, non tight end premium scoring league, but here we are, folks. Obviously, team two for the computer loved what they saw out of uh, Kelsey. I mean, I like it. I like. I don't think it just make you rock hard. I mean, it's an okay nice. pick. It's just Christian Mc, Christian McCaffrey is gonna get a million points and a million receptions. So he's the Heard kind of the safe first, bet. Folks, one million points. One million. I don't see that anywhere. Christian McCaffrey. Now that, that's week. if he stays healthy, which is a big if. So maybe the computer, you know, did its homework and didn't want to take the risk. AI is pretty powerful. It, it might be able to see into the future at this point. You never know. Mm -hmm. All right, Where that puts Devin see... on the clock. What Jamar Chase going third overall. Austin Eckler gets taken <laughs> by the computer number four. Devin, any uh, hesitation on Jamar, or was he always your guy at three? No, he was always going to be my guy. I was really hoping that the Ooh. computer would take McCaffrey at two so I could take Jamar. Uh, I just find if you do the top four spots, if you don't walk away with either Jefferson or Chase, it's really hard to build your team from there when you're like kind of reaching for – that elite receiver you can find some running back help later on so um i was just definitely hoping the entire time that chase would fall to me okay 
That puts yeah. John on the clock at number five. I have a gift in front of me right now. You do. Yeah. Austin yeah. Eckler got drafted before Christian McCaffrey. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah. My work is done in the first yeah, the round. The fact that it dropped a five <laughs> for you is pretty pretty cool. All right. So John takes CMC. Immediately following him, him the computer goes Barkley, Cup, Hill, Robinson, CD Lamb at number 10. Yeah. So Eric on the clock here. You know, I think I think I got to do it. I got to. Uh, well, I mean, it, I'm going to draft uh, Stefan Diggs. High powered offense. He'll get receptions and uh, I think it's a solid pick to have as your wide, wide receiver one. So hold on here. Do you not yeah. buy into the rumors of him being disgruntled? No. <laughs> no stock in those rumors whatsoever, eh? John just already trying to stir the pot. I'm more curious about this other computer pick here. Um, I I don't know about Bijan Robinson. Yeah, uh, if it maybe if it was uh, a if if it was a keeper, but uh. and I know that's where he's been going, but I, I'm a Bijan believer. You think yeah, he's I, that's the spot? That's the spot for him. Well, I think taking Bijan at nine is there. Yeah, the, he's Bijan at nine is an amazing pickup. Okay. All right, so that puts me on the clock, back-to-back picks here. So already we've had several high-powered running backs coming off the board, some of the top-end wide receiver talent. There's obviously a huge drop-off until the next tight end. Could go quarterback and start a run there if I want to patty Mahomes, but I am instead going to double-dip on the running backs, and I'm going to take Nick Chubb and Derrick Henry to form quite the on the ground running tandem here. And I have no care whatsoever for catching passes out of the backfield. <laughs> right on. So do you know what? So go on. Hold on a second. Cause I remember last year at one point you said, <clears throat> I will never in my life in a PPR league draft Nick Chubb again. Well, it's half point PPR. <laughs> so half, half point PPR. Uh, that wasn't Nick Chubb that I said I wouldn't dra- ever draft again there last year. <laughs> I like, thought it was. If I can George interject. Kittle was who I am never taking again in any uh, yeah. future league whatsoever after he absolutely torpedoed my tight end position. Yeah, if sure I can is. just interject on that, like taking Chubb this year at that position is an absolute steal. I think he's going to be the top three running. Oh back. yeah, I just I just wanted to comment on Kyle getting him. <laughs> yeah, he changes his mind daily. So. I remember that. Yeah. I remember. Yeah, but you know what? Like I. <laughs> Was I, I on record of saying that, or was this a casual that, passing I don't that you can't that move towards? We'll go through the tapes. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. The <laughs> fact that Nick Chubb comes off the board after Bijan Robinson, I, I don't, I don't like it. I really don't like it. Why don't you do something about it? It's your pick right now. Well, let's pause so I can't pick. Oh, there we go. All right, guys, I got to do it. I got to do it. I'm not taking Antonio Brown. I'm taking. Patrick Mahomes. I hope you weren't taking Antonio <laughs> Brown. Antonio <laughs> Brown. Excuse me. Excuse me. AJ Antonio Brown. Antonio my, my, Brown. My bad. You know, Mahomes, it's uh, – he's just above and beyond all the rest of the QBs. He has a very high floor and extremely high ceiling. Um, you know what? I, I'm going to put the same trust in him by taking him a little earlier that the same, the, the same trust that the Chiefs – had in him when they decided to give him a contract worth millions of dollars. All right. Well, following Patrick Mahomes, first quarterback off the board there, we got AJ Brown, not to be confused with currently late on his child support payments and has an arrest warrant out for him, Antonio Brown. And then we've got, (laughs) oh, oh, it's not just still, this is the second one in the span of several months here. Josh Jacobs, Josh Allen, Amon Ross, St. Brown, Devontae Adams, which puts John back on the clock. So you went CMC round one. Who's your round two pick going to be? So as the Sacco, I learned a lot of things from last year. (laughs) And (laughs) having a floor. Hard lessons there. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Having a floor amount of points is pretty important. So I'm just going to go with the floor. 20 points a week. Easy. Jalen Hurts. Okay. So we got our second QB off the board here. Mm -hmm. I, I was going to say, is he going to really roll the dice here and go Jonathan Taylor and hope that he Hell gets no. traded? <laughs> he might have, the thing is, Jalen Hurts might have still been around for you next round. I don't know. Eric, no, Eric doesn't like it. Jalen Hurts was not getting past me. <laughs> okay. well, there you have it, folks. Good pick. There you have it. Good pick, John. Right. 
Following Jalen Hurts, we got Garrett Wilson, Tony Pollard, Najee Harris, and that brings Craig back up at the turn here who gets to double dip for end of round two and round one. But before we get to you, Devin, ah. my God, <laughs> you're, you're breaking all the, all the rules of Eagles fandom right now and taking a Dallas Cowboy. Yeah, but uh, he is just, he's going to be an elite running back this year. And I mean, late second round pick and you're still going to be able to grab Tony Pollard. You got to take him. I don't know. I, I I am not a Tony Pollard believer. I, I think he's going to very much mirror Madison where it's a lot of, okay, here's some high powered backups that are getting their shots. And I don't know. I, I see more of a, whether it's injury, whether it's ineffectiveness, whether it's Mike McCarthy calling fucking offensive plays out there. I, I see more of like an eight touchdown, 900 yard season for Tony Pollard this season, but that could just be me. I could I be wrong. And he so puts up 1500. Yeah, I think from just week me. from week eight to week sixteen, he had not quarterbacks. He had the third highest points total. Yeah, he's and that is your playoff push. You can't guess live who was in first. the past, Greg. You can't live in the past, buddy. Guess who was first? You, you you can if it's if it's a late second round pick, Kyle. Yeah, that's a that's a great. You could live in the past if it's a, if it's a, if it's a late second round pick. With that in mind, I am going to take Sean Alexander and Ladanian Tomlinson at the top. Please do it. Do it. All right, Craig, you got back to backs here. Where are you going with it? I'm going to do something crazy. No, you're not. Kicker. (laughs) Well, Travis Kelsey's off the board, so we might as well get our second tight end off. So, Mark Andrews, probably the only other tight end who could outscore our friend. Oh, and he goes Lamar Jackson. So, tight end QB. Got to do it. Got to do it. (laughs) Chris Olave. Was there any other QB you considered there, or was it Jackson and then a clear drop off for you? It wasn't so much that I mean Jackson. I think is going to return to form. First of all, I think he was he could have played last year. I think a lot of it was him kind of protecting himself, waiting for that contract. Mm-hmm. Um, and we saw how much Mark Andrews disappeared when it wasn't Lamar Jackson throwing him the football. Two of them together again. Like like I think if I didn't have a chance at Mark Andrews, I'm probably not taking Jackson there. But the fact that I can pair them both together, I'm taking that. 